Hi everyone, Janine here. Today I'm going to share with you some books for babies and toddlers. I absolutely love the series Hello Baby. There's four books of these. I have two here. I love the Buzz Buzz Animal one because on each page there's an animal and the sound that it makes. Um, and then the teething toy is great to, um, for little babies to hold on to and they just love slobbering all over them. <laughs> so super, super fun. And then we have our fold out books. These are great for tummy time because they fold all the way out and lay flat. And you can also stand them up to encourage your kids to crawl. So these are our, our newest one is nursery rhymes. And there is one, two, three counting as an example for um, other ones that we have. And we have our touchy feely books. These are awesome. This is our That's Not My series. And our newest one is That's Not My Otter. So you can see there's um, touchy-feely spots on each page and the lines around the animal are really dark and that helps um, young children be able to see the shape of the animal better. Next we have touchy-feely animals playbook. There are lots of different playbooks, but this one I just thought it was so cool. It has so many colors, so many different things to feel and touch and see. See how you can look through the pages and there's just lots of contrast. Even toddlers will love these books. And we have our look through series. This is Are You There Little Elephant? And it just goes through the jungle trying to find elephants. Lots of peek through pages again. Lots of different contrasting colors. And then you find an elephant at the back of a book. Super, super fun. Same with Panda in the Park. My son absolutely loves this book. He loves guessing what's on the other side. And it's a great one if you need time on the potty. <laughs> Perfect. And then we have some seek and find books for young children. I don't think I've seen many seek and find books for toddlers or babies even, but this is great. It's this colorful world safari and it goes through the different animals that would be in the safari. And on each page, it asks a great question. Find the plant without a match. Which chameleon is only one color? So great um, questions to ask and get them critical thinking. Who's up in the air? So this one does kind of the same thing. It asks a question on each page and they have to use um, kind of some critical thinking skills to figure out the, the answer. Who's wet in the rain? So as you can see, he doesn't have an umbrella. He's getting wet. It's a great, great, great book. Very first book of things to spot, just like the one we just saw, except that there's lots more to seek and find. Who's riding a bicycle? So what is a bicycle and who is riding it? It's a great seek and find book. We have lots of different ones of those, so make sure you check those out. Cuddle Bear um, book set and gift. So if you can see, there's a little snuggler and a board book. And it's a super fun rhyming board book. I absolutely love it. Okay, next up is um, a very cool book. It's like a toy, a tractor book. We have a bus, one of these. So it rolls and the farmer is picking up the animals. So there's the pig and what else, the sheep. And at the back of the book, he takes them to the children's fair. How fun is that? Can you spot them? So really fun for boys who like trucks and things that roll. <laughs> okay, next up is our book sets. I just love these book sets. These are some of my favorite, favorite. This is the vocabulary one. So it goes through the first 100 words and it has nine different books. And as you can see, it's almost like a little puzzle. So there's just so many fun um, aspects to this set. I just absolutely love it. My son uses these little books as blocks and likes to stack them. And so we read them at the same time he's stacking them. So super, super fun. Okay, next up, Little Ballerina Dancing Book. This is one of my favorites. It goes through classical ballets, has a beautiful music. And then on each page, it has a ballet and a little um, dance move that goes with it. So that's perfect for little children. 
And then I'm a Dirty Dinosaur is a sing-song book. I just absolutely love this book because my kids love reading it with me. I'm a Dirty Dinosaur with a dirty snout. I never wipe it clean. I just sniff and snuff about. Sniff, sniff, snuff, snuff, sniff and snuff about. So as you can see, the kids can memorize that really easy. And so they love doing it along with you. This is the how-to series. Great for um, toddlers who need a little help during these um, different aspects of the day. There's also brushing your teeth and an eating one. Um, and it just goes through the bathing routine. So it shows how to bathe your dinosaur. And it's really funny because dinosaur does some funny things. And it would be great to just walk through with your toddler who might struggle with some of these things or even just to do it, um, read it before you do this routine with them. That's all I have for you today. Hope you found something you like.